Hey, Venom 2 is not messing around. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom vlog. And again, we're going to take a slight departure from Carnage, even though this is in a roundabout way Carnage related as well, since the next movie is most likely going to be Venom versus Carnage. But Venom 2 just announced, like on Hollywood Reporter, I saw this announcement and Sony like leaked this to the press or let, you know, got the press release out there for it, that they are adding a cinematographer. So obviously Maddie Libatique, who worked on like Iron Man and a lot of other great films that we talked about in the first season or, uh, and a little bit in the second season of our show. Um, he did the cinematography on the first movie and I thought he did a great job. He got some of the looks and framing of some of these shots really well. Uh, but this time, you know, Andy Serkis said in that interview, he said, you know, we really want to approach Venom 2 completely differently. And, and, and I think Sony... I, I feel like maybe, at least with this hiring of Robert Richardson, that Sony is at least listening or had heard the feedback of the first movie. And Andy Serkis maybe has heard feedback. And Tom Hardy has heard feedback of the first movie. And Kelly Marcel has heard feedback. And I think all of them are going, you know what? Let's treat this like a completely different animal. Okay, we kind of got the origin out of the way. It, you know, it had some bumps in the roads. But let's really hit the ground running with this one. Let's bring in some all-star talent not that there wasn't that on the first movie uh but seeing robert richardson a three-time academy award winning cinematographer uh who just finished his la re uh, most recent movie was once upon a time in hollywood for quentin tarantino he's worked with quentin tarantino um all the way back since kill bill i believe um and then he's also worked with andy circus before on andy circus's first film breathe i think that was andy's uh you know debut film uh, in 2017 so uh you know this is awesome this is great news at least for me as like a, a crew junkie you know the, who likes to look at the people who make the movies as someone who used to work on movies it's like this stuff really interests me and i love to see who they put in place and which chess pieces they have in which positions and seeing uh this is just amazing um you know i i was when i saw this news at first i was like I, I retweeted it immediately and then I was like, oh, what if it's what if it's fake? What if it's like what if I just retweeted? I didn't get to look at like the article. I was like, I was like, oh, I just I was at work. I was on my 15 minute break and I was like, oh, I should have done a little bit more time. So then it was like later on when I had my lunch, I went back online and I looked and I was like, OK, good. It came from Hollywood Reporter and I'm so stoked for this. And I saw a lot of you guys were really stoked about this, too. Um, you know, like I said, Kelly Marcel, she's like she came in in the first movie to like help punch up the script while they're filming it. And uh, Tom Hardy is now working with just her. The other writers, they had multiple writers on the first movie. They're all off the project. They, they didn't come back for the sequel, as far as I know. Kelly Marcel is just writing it by herself with input from Tom Hardy. And again, I mentioned in a previous video, I think that's just to get the character of uh, Eddie Brock down, like to really flesh him out on the page. So that way, when, uh, you know, Tom shows up on set, someone who likes to commit to his character, he doesn't have to create the character while he's playing it in the moment there. He gets some of that pressure off them by having a solid script that he helped out with and goes, all right, I know exactly who this guy is. I know exactly from A, B to C to D where his story is going to end and begin. And, uh, and I think that was just, that's why he's helping out is he wants it very clear on the page. And I know Kelly and uh, Tom are going to work out stuff with other characters, bring in the other actors, and probably flesh out stuff with them. It's a collaborative process. That's how movies work. Everybody, you know, when they get their scripts, they get to say, hey, you know, maybe we can tweak this line, or, you know, maybe, you know, they, they get to bounce back and forth. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes they'll say, hey, can I re-say this line or do it a different way? Um, sometimes they may get told no, but usually people know that they're working in a collaborative effort. And I'm sure Andy Serkis, who is an actor himself, is probably going to be, you know, I'm hoping... Um, and I'm sure, you know, on a lot of levels, he's probably going to be a very patient guy and work with these actors and find the heart of their characters. And I think this movie might actually surprise us. Like, you know me, I liked the first movie. I thought it was fine, but uh, I gave it like a seven out of ten. Um, I'm hoping that this movie, uh, you know, I give a higher score to. I hope it's just improvement from here on out. And it sounds like that's the direction they're trying to go in, especially uh, right here with Robert Richardson. I mean, that's just an amazing addition to the crew of this. And showing that they already have their cinematographer means they are moving fast. They are crewing up this movie like really quickly. And I'm sure that comes from Andy's involvement, you know, coming in and going like, all right, well, here's the people I want to work with. I mean, you saw on his like Instagram, he already tagged a bunch of people when he posted, hey, I'm going to be in the movie or I'm going to be directing this movie that, you know, Symbiote found a host in me. Um, I love that he did that. And he tagged people like makeup people and other people that he's worked with before. And I was like, already he's starting the family. He's already building the new family, the new uh, version of the Parasites, Parasites 2.0. He's already building them up. And uh, this is fantastic. And seeing now Robert Richardson on here, 
is just it makes it's calming me down but it's also exciting at the same time because i'm like oh i'm looking at this guy's career and i'm just blown away like uh, scorsese uses this guy a lot like casino one of my all-time favorite movies uh you know robert richardson worked on uh, shutter island a aviator shine a light um you know this guy bringing out the dead like He's worked on so many other things and, and has won Oscars, three Oscars for cinematography. So I can't wait to see what he brings to this. Um, this is just, it's getting me so excited for this movie. Uh, I can't, I can't wait. So um, anyway, I have the link for Hollywood Reporter. I'll put that link down below if you want to read more about Robert Richardson and his career, because I don't want, I don't want to give it away all here. I want to drive some traffic to these people that are working hard to get this news for you guys. So uh, I'll put the link down below, but let me know what you think. I mean, does this pump you up at all i mean some of you may be like oh, i don't care it's just a name behind the scenes like you know i don't know what that means having a good cinematographer i mean we've talked about some of that in season one but as we get into filming this movie and we see some of his shots and some of his angles and like things that are in the trailers and stuff we'll talk more about cinematography because that's what we did in season one of the show and i really like that in season two as well which is when the movie was being made the first movie we talked about what some of these jobs are you know exactly and i'm not exactly i mean like so what i know the jobs to be like i mean i'm sure i get some details wrong i try to do as much research as i can uh and usually people you know write me and say hey you actually got this wrong and if i did then i will make another video about it and try to explain better um what that job actually entails uh but cinematographer you know being there the one you know operating the camera lining up the shots getting everything um you know working with the lighting crew and the team and the sound and you know just along with the director you know like everyone puts in their effort it's a team effort all the time i mean even robert as much as he shines he shines brighter because he works, uh, you know, with other talented people as well. And that's obviously the message I always want to let be known on here, even if I don't full out say it on every episode, is when I get excited for a new crew member, it's not just about praising them, but also knowing what they will do in a group of people like Andy Serkis and Tom Hardy, what they could bring to the table. And that's why I like celebrating everybody that works behind the scenes on these movies. So again, let me know what you think down below. Read the article for yourself and let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. We'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.